guys, it's Lindsay from Our Messy Table. Um, this, um, I just want to thank y'all so much for all the feedback and comments and likes that we got on the Facebook post last week on um, when I asked y'all what tutorials y'all be interested in beauty wise. Um, I'm really excited to do this. This is going to be my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional makeup at all, but I really love makeup. I love watching makeup tutorials and beauty vloggers, so, um, so I just thought this would be a fun one to do. Um, this tutorial is really just for like an everyday makeup. Like this is what I wear to work. I mean, I don't have to get super jazzed up for work. So this is what I wear for work, where I would wear to the grocery store, running errands. This is not like a going out, going to a party type of look. Um, so it's just really simple, really basic. Um, and you can definitely dress it up in different ways and make it your own. But I hope you all enjoy. All right, the first thing that I did, and I've already done this step, is I used, I went ahead and moisturized my skin. I used Miracle Worker by Philosophy. It's a great just everyday moisturizer. So whatever moisturizer you have, start with that step. It's really good for your skin, but also it'll help your foundation stick better. So I've already done this. The next thing I did was I used a primer and I used the Pore Professional. I'm gonna make sure you can see it by Benefit. Um, this is just a travel size that I got from Ulta, but I actually really like it. And I just put it in my T-zone, so I put it on my forehead, nose, and right here, and it's, it is just gonna help my makeup set in those areas. And also, it's supposed to um, minimize the appearance of pores, so love that. All right, so I did that. The next thing that I'm gonna do is, go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation. I mean, I watch a ton of videos on how you should always do your eyeshadow first, but since this is such a basic tutorial and we're not doing a really intense eye, I'm not really worried that much about eyeshadow falling down on my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my foundation because this is what I do every day. And this is not glamorous. This is literally, this is how I do it. I just pop it on here. Um, foundation wise, I'm using L'Oreal True Match in the color Light Ivory W2. Um, I, you know, I've tried high-end ones. This is great for just an everyday makeup for me. I don't want to spend a lot of money on something that I'm going to use just for running errands or it's nothing fancy. So I really like this. I get it from HEB or any drugstore. Um, this one, let me show you the bottle, which the bottle is kind of messy. But this one is the L'Oreal True Match. They also have L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, I've tried both. What I've noticed about the True Match one is it's better for my skin. My skin is normal to a little bit oily, not excessive oil, but a little bit. Um, and the Lumi seems better for dry skin people because it gives you like that Lumi moisture dewy look. So I've, I have started using this one instead. And then I am just going to rub that in. I'm using circular motions. This brush is... Um, by Sigma and it's their flat kabuki brush. I really, really like it. It's it's just been so great. It like gets your foundation really even. I'll link all the brushes that I use because I don't want to take up too much time. I wanted to make this video kind of quick. Um, but I'll link all the brushes down below for you guys. I really like Sigma brushes. I feel like they're really well priced um, compared to some other higher end brands out there and they last forever. Like I've had the, these brushes for just so long. So I will link those for you. And again, I'm just rubbing this foundation in, trying my best to use circular movements. Bringing it down a little bit. Okay, next step, and y'all, my eye is like driving me crazy, my allergies, so it looks a little red, so please excuse that. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna do is go in with um, concealer. I've, again, I've tried several different um, higher-end concealers, but for an everyday look, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it because I wear, I use a lot of it and I use it all the time. So I've settled on the Maybelline um, Fit Me. It's, a, it's the lightest shade. It's winter, people. I'm very pale right now. So I use the lightest shade, and this is basically what I do with it. I usually go straight down the nose, on the sides, because I always get redness right there. I'm sure some of y'all do too. Um, and then I go... I have a little more breakout on my chin, but also this seems to be an area that my foundation just does not last in. So I usually go on my chin a little bit and then underneath my eyes. There we go. 
And then you can, this next step, you can um, use an eyeshadow primer or what I'm going to do is just use my concealer since it's easy and I already have it out. I'm putting this on my eyelids so that I can, when later when I get to my eyeshadow, so that it'll stick and the eyeshadow will stick there. And then I'm just going to rub this in. Um, I am using another Sigma brush here that I'll link below. This is my absolute favorite for concealer. Totally optional. Um, but I'm going to just do a basic contour. I'm not talking Kim Kardashian contour. This is just a basic everyday contour to give my skin a little bit of definition and also to, make, to give the illusion that my nose is a little bit slimmer. Um, so this is going to be, and I'm just using, a, again, a drugstore brand. I'm using Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me. And it's the, this color is Toffee Caramel. You're supposed to get it, like, I think they said three shades darker than your normal color if you're going to use a stick like this for contour, but this is what it looks like. And I just literally just go straight, I want to make sure you can see it, straight down the sides of my nose very lightly. And then this is an extra step. You don't have to do this, but I'm not going to be using bronzer in this tutorial, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a basic contour to show you what I do. Um, but I don't, honestly, I don't do this every day. So just a line there, a line on this side, and I'm going to draw a line straight down, kind of like suck in like a fish, and then draw it. So you can see like an angled line. All right. And take that same tapered kabuki from Sigma, and I'm just going to um, brush it back and forth until that's blended. And I'm going to do the same thing on my nose. So usually, I honestly don't do this step every day. I know I just said that, but I don't do this step every day. Um, but I'm not going to be using bronzer, so this will kind of help break it up a little bit. I do, though, every day, I will say, I do um, put it on my nose. And then I'm going to do this side. I'm going to make sure that's really blended, so I'm going to go back in with the brush that I used to put my foundation on and just go over it. I don't want any crazy orange lines. Just go back over that one more time. There we go. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set my concealer and set that with this Makeup Forever um, translucent powder. I love this stuff. It's so good. This is one of the products that I will spend a little bit extra on because I feel like it just works so good. And it just, I'm going to show you so you can see, but it is just a translucent powder. I'm just going to dip my brush in it a little bit. I'm not going to set my whole face. I'm just going to set just the areas that I really don't want my makeup to move. So like my chin for sure, because I did put some extra concealer on there. I'm going to go back and set my T-zone, like my nose, and right here. And then I want to set my under eye concealer because I don't want that to move or crease throughout the day. Especially if you're using a drugstore concealer, they, they do tend to crease a little bit more than like a MAC Pro or something, Pro Longwear. So go ahead and set that. Alright, since I told you earlier I'm not going to use a bronzer today, but I am going to use a blush. And the blush that I'm using is Warm Soul. It's a mineralized blush from MAC. Um, I really love this color. It's such a, like, it's a bronzy, bronzy um, blush. So I really feel like I could use it as a blush or a bronzer. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dip that in and just brush, dust that just a little bit on my cheeks to give me some color. The stippling brush. These brushes are just from Ulta, the Real Techniques brand. I really like these. And I'm just going to go over that contour and that blush just to make sure it's all 
um, blend it out. Alright. And then that's it for that part of the makeup. I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyes. Um, out of all the products I'm going to show you today, I feel like this is the, my favorite and I you'll love it too um, if you don't already. It's the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is amazing. Like I literally won't even leave the house without having my eyebrows done. It's I cannot do any of these other steps, but eyebrows are so important. I feel like they frame your face. They make you look more awake. Um, it's really, the I guess, the most necessary step out of all of them. And so anyway, this is Gimme Brow by Benefit, and it has this really cute little wand. You can see that. And you just go in, and it's so easy. You don't have to worry about gel or lining them. You just brush it over. They do have it in two shades. I use the darker of the shades. You just put it on there and line them. I will say on like when it's come time and I haven't done my eyebrows in a long time, this does pick up like every little hair. So you so you do kind of have to be careful about that. But um, besides that, this stuff is wonderful. Look at the difference. Seriously. I love this stuff. And then I just take this little cheapo um, like eyebrow brush from Walmart and I just go over it. Sometimes I can get a little too much or the hairs can get a little crazy. So go in and fix that. There we go. All right, and now we're on to eyeshadow. Um, the palette that I'm using today is by Stilla, or Stilia, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say the name, but I really do like it. It's a great palette. Um, it's great for traveling, I, and it's so good because it has so many of the colors that I use all the time, so I can grab just this one palette and just go out the door. Um, this color right here, which is called Puppy, let me make sure you can see that, this is a great like blending transition color. Um, this color is a, it's an okay highlight, like I mean, it's not super white, but um, this one is called Chinois. Basically, it's just like a cream. This is kind of what I would put in the arch of the eyebrow. And then, the, obviously, the color I like the most out of this palette is called Wheat. It's just a really pretty golden brown. And then, they're famous for Kitten. Um, that's also a really good one. I really like the Kitten one. So, it's just a really good everyday palette. But regardless, whatever you're using, um, I just go in with a blending brush. And I'm going to go into my um, blending color, which again is called Puppy. And I'm just going to go into the crease. This is just a very simple, basic, like I'm just putting something on. The thing I will say about this um, wheat color is that it doesn't show up very well on my eyelids, so I usually go in with um, Urban Decay's Makeup Setting Spray, and I will spray that to wet it, and then I'll go in so that when I put it on there, on my lid, it'll stick a little bit better. Now this is a, I mean again, you can use whatever colors you like. These just happen to be the color that I gravitate towards the most for some reason. I do wear a lot of like creams and neutral colors, so these just go pretty with, with that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just take a highlight color and just kind of just highlight right on that arch above, right underneath the brow. The highlight color again is like the creamish white color that's in the palette. Just a little bit right there. And then the next step would be um, if you wanted to do eyeliner. I'm not going to do eyeliner in this video because it's not something that I do every day. Um, but if you were, I would go ahead and put on your eyeliner. And then next step would be your mascara. Um, I've really been loving the Lancome mascara lately. It just it goes on so nicely. Um, has kind of a 
cool looking brush. And then also, it doesn't, I had a bad problem with mine like bleeding under my eye. This doesn't do that. So I've really been liking this one, but um, use whatever mascara you have. And obviously you know how to put on mascara, but I'm going to try and whiz through this just so you can see the finished product. My next step would be the mascara. But I feel like it, even with just one coat, it just, one or two coats, I just feel like it, um, just looks good. I'd love to hear if y'all have any mascara recommendations, though. I'm, I love trying different mascaras. Oh, sorry, hand. It's different when you're trying to film versus just putting it on. I'm totally not used to it yet. And mine's actually drying out, so I need to get a new, I need to try a different brand soon. And then I'm going to do the bottom. Then I'm going to go in with, and you can just go in with any lip gloss or lipstick that you have. Um, the one I've been loving the most lately is this little Rock Alter Ego, and it's in the color Social Light. I really like this. It's just a really good everyday plain color. Um, I feel like I can dress it up, or I can wear it with just like a t-shirt and slap it on. Like it doesn't have to be like a really dressy lipstick. Um, the color is just really pretty, and it's not sticky feeling. I'm not a big fan of like sticky feeling. And then after that, the last thing I would do is go back in with this Urban Decay Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It feels so refreshing when it hits my face, and it makes your makeup last all day. Um, so you just spray that on, kind of air dry it out, then you're done. So next thing, I'm going to change out of my pajamas and fix my hair and get ready for the day. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I am going to be filming a winged eyeliner tutorial next, and then also show you how I clean my dirty makeup brushes soon. Um, but thank you all so much. It really means so much to John and I that you follow our page and we want to hear from you what you guys want to see, what videos and tutorials. And um, I hope you'll go to ourmessytable.com and subscribe for our newsletter. They go out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we're not like bombarding you guys, but we'd love for you all to subscribe there. Thank you so much.